Hello everyone. Let's look at this um, problem very quickly. We have to x minus square root of x equals 4. Um, okay, you're welcome to FUCO Mathematics. Here we provide detailed solution to problems. And this is one of the problems we Okay, this is our problem for today. We are going to solve. Now, what do I do? I want to remove this from here. Okay, so that will be my target. And I can just take this to the other side and bring 4 here. So we have 2x minus 4 equals square root of um, x. Okay? But I would prefer this to be on the other side. So... I'll write square root of x to be equal to 2x minus 4. Now, what do I do? Since I want to remove this from here, I would have to square this. Then put this together and you square it. If you square them separately, you will be wrong. Okay, so put them together and square. Then we we'll have this to cancel this. So we have x. And it's equal to um, one of my learners, one of my students, if he has some um, anything like this to square, he will say 2x squared minus 4 squared. Okay, that's how he does it, but that is not correct. If I were you, I would just open it, I will expand it this way 2x minus 4 in two places. 2x minus 4. So we'll open this. I think it's better this way. x will be equal to 2x times 2x. That will be 4x squared. 2x times minus 4. That will be minus 8x. 4 minus 4 times 2x. That will be minus 8x again. And minus 4 times minus 4. That will be plus 16. Now from here. We have x to be equal to 4x squared minus 16x plus 16. Minus 8x minus 8x is minus 16x. So let's arrange this in a better way. 4x squared will appear. Okay, so what we are doing is to arrange them according to their powers. So x squared, this square is the highest power, so it has to come first. Then followed by x, we have minus 16x. This is still the same. It has to come. And then we have plus 16. Everything is now equal to 0. Now, we have 4x squared minus 17x plus 16 to be equal to 0. And now, what kind of an equation is this? This is a quadratic equation because of the power of 2. So we will look for a method that we'll use to solve this. Okay, we are going to use um, the formula method. The formula is x equal to, now to be sincere, can you remember the formula yourself? Do you remember quadratic general formula? Because a lot of students find it difficult to remember the formula. Okay, so the formula is here. We have x to be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. It is one thing to know the formula and then it is another thing to know what the ABC stand for. Our A there stands for the square. Um, the coefficient of x squared and that means that our a is 4. Our b stands for the coefficient of x that means our b is minus 17 and then c stands for the constant and that is 16. Now put, put them straight into the formula. So our x will now be in place of minus b this negative will appear first then b itself is minus 17. So that means I'll have bracket and I'll have negative 17. Plus or minus, we have negative 17 squared. 
because b is um negative 17 then minus 4 times a a is 4 times c c is 16 then this is over 2 times a and our a is 4. i believe this is interesting right now x here is equal to we have um negative negative will give us positive 17 plus or minus then we have minus 17 square right so we square that and that will give us some um, 289 right so we write 289 then minus 4 times 4 is 16 16 times 16 is 256 and then the whole of this is over 2 times 4 which is 8 simple right let's continue okay so from here our x is equal to 17 plus or minus we have 289 minus 256 that will give us 33 and this is over 8 and then remember that this is a two in one solution because um we are going to have um, positive and negative over here. So our x is equal to 17, okay, plus square root of 33 over 8, or we have 17 minus square root of 33 over 8, okay? And by the way, you can decide to get your answer in um, decimal form, okay? To do that, what we'll do is to find the square root of 33. So, x will be equal to 17 plus square root of 33, approximately. That will be 5.74, approximately. Then we divide this by 8. Or on this side, we have 17 minus 5.74. Then whatever we have, we divide by 8. Okay, so when you add this, you're going to get this. Subtract this and you will have this. Okay, now let's divide 22.74 by 8 very quickly. Okay, so when you divide this, you have this, 11.26 divided by 8 will give us 1.41. So x is equal to this, and x is still equal to this. But now, do you think both of them can satisfy the equation? Remember, these are approximated figures. Okay, now here is the original equation. We got um, 2x minus square root of x equals 4. So which of these values would you impute into this that will give you 4 approximately? So you can let us know in the comment section. Thank you for watching.